morning to the bright sunshine. Thank you very much. I'm walking with the bright sunshine. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography and today I'll be talking about my trip to New York and how my G7X Mark II by Canon beat out the Fuji X-T20. Stay tuned and watch guys, you'll be surprised by the answer. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from JGP and let me tell you something, just before I start, I just wanna tell you that it's about getting the shot at JGP, but it's also about the journey getting there, so stay tuned. Check out the behind the scenes videos and some of my reviews, there's a lot of good stuff there. You might like what you see. Now, back to the video and what I was telling you guys. I was telling you guys that my G7X, this little tiny bitty thing right here, I'll try to show it to you guys, beat out my X-T20 for my trip. Now, before I begin, let me tell you why I did the trip and you'll understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. I went to New York this weekend on some sort of like, it was, it was like a package deal. It cost like 300 bucks to go down to New York. We had two nights at the hotel and the whole bit. And for that reason, it was very much a family outing. So we did a lot of shopping. We went to all the typical places you go into New York. So that would mean Times Square, Macy's. I went to B&H, which by the way was closed. Don't ever go there at Easter because it's Passover for them. Well, close to Easter and Passover. But sometimes just make sure you know when Passover is because they are closed. B&H is totally closed. So I did very much the touristy thing. Because of that fact, I was with the family and any time I could spend with the family was the reason we were there. I wasn't there to actually take shots. Actually, it wasn't a photographic outing. Therefore, for that reason, listen, I'm not gonna get too much into the detail. You know how these machines work. This is a one inch sensor camera. It's super small, but the quality for a one inch sensor is probably bar none one of the best one inch sensor cameras out there it's underestimated for its stills capacity and it's seen as a vlog camera that's the g7x mark ii i brought that with me and i also brought the xt20 by uh, fuji film uh, and i brought the 18 to 55 i even made a video on why i was bringing this lens with this camera this camera kicks ass as well i mean it's a fantastic camera and it's an aps-c size sensor therefore low light sensitivity is higher you know dynamic range and all that stuff is a bit better than on the g7x however because of the type of trip i was taking my needs were was for something that wasn't too big and bulky because i was spending time with my family we biked in central park so i couldn't have something big and bulky the biggest reason why the g7x was a better camera for this type of a trip was of its size, plain and simple. There's no other reason. Yes, the X-T20 beats it at IQ image quality. There's no doubt about that. But at the same time, the best camera is the camera you have on you. And I found myself with the G7X on me more often. Uh, a couple of times we took walks down in downtown New York. Therefore, I just wanted to have my jacket. I didn't feel like having my whole camera pack sack. Therefore, I took the G7X and stuck it in my pocket. And for that reason, it was very, very practical to have. That is the only reason why, guys. It, it just so happened to be in my pocket all the time. Therefore, that's why I have more photos from the G7X Mark II and not as many photos from the X-T20. That being said, I think the X-T20... Uh, if you want to use it for something where you're actually having on you all the time, it would be a good idea to go and get yourself one of the pancakes, the 18, the 27, the 23, they're all pancakes uh, that Fuji offers. Uh, here you can look like the 1855. Yes, it's a bit of a smaller lens. It's a beautiful focal range, but it's a bit big. And because of the good lens quality, it weighs a ton. It's pretty heavy camera. It, just this right here, when you put this lens on, it makes this camera heavy. 
Now, I want you guys to tell me what you think, what is the best package to go out there and shoot when you're in a situation where you're just in a tourism type thing, but you have the passion of photography and want to take shots and drum off shots the whole time and you need something that's pocketable. Now, I'm the type of guy who thinks even the X100F is not that pocketable. So just give me your, your point of view. Do you think the X-T20 could be used with the pancake and other stuff like that? I'd love to hear from you. Follow, like, subscribe, and don't forget everybody. Keep on making something from nothing.